Construction, day 176. All right, so today we're coming at you from uh, yet another location. Uh, you can see the utility room. Uh, we're here in the uh, first spare bedroom, call it the office. Uh, we worked hard today to try to uh, get this area, uh, you know, really set up. So uh, we did some more grouting uh, where the main uh, windows uh, meet the uh, tile. So obviously there was a joint there. So uh, that took a lot of grout. I really had to fill that area out because that's a few inches deep. So uh, I did a real good job filling it up uh, yesterday, letting it dry overnight. And then I cleaned it up real nice. I'll show you, it came out really good. I sealed it. We really cleaned this room down. It has a couple touch-ups. Uh, we took a real clean uh, microfiber rag uh, and just wiped down some of the fingerprints that was on the walls. Came right off. Uh, but now we officially have uh, a clean room to come to. One clean room. One clean room. <laughs> and what we also did um, is, let's see if you can see it. We got the air conditioner uh, set up. So can you hear it? That's actually on uh, full cool uh, and the fans on nice and high. This, this room I had to adjust it a few times because it was like preset at like 20 Celsius and that was just too cold in here. So I upped it to I think 23 or 24 Celsius, which is like 75 degrees and it felt real good. So uh, we, we took our time taking uh, that plastic bag that was around the air con and there was a lot of dust just in that. And I really vacuumed it all out before we started it up. But we have one air con uh, working. So glad that we put uh, air cons in all the bedrooms. So it worked out nice. Yes. You like having a cool place to go to? Definitely. Especially today, all I did is just sweeping and sweeping and sweeping, vacuuming and vacuuming and you sweat. So it's nice to uh, come into one room that it's nice and cool. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's a good, uh, that's really good. And who sounds congested? Me. Uh, she was sniffing and sneezing last night. She just doesn't learn and so many times a day uh, because remember the guys are doing the uh, uh, the ceiling of master bedroom in the main room. They got it done today, but boy a lot of dust, but uh, I keep telling Wilma stay out of there while they're sanding. Uh, stay in this room and she does for a while and then she gets itchy and then she goes out there and you know she's probably gonna uh, have a problem with her uh, asthma again. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today real quick is healthcare. Um, and, you know, if anyone is planning on coming to the Philippines, you have to think about what your plan is in case you get sick. You could get injured uh, or you could just plain get sick. So, you know, one of the things that we did early on, and this is when we still lived in the U.S., uh, we researched uh, hospitals in the Philippines and did what we could uh, on the internet as well as YouTube. And, and what we found out is, and again, this was just our research, so it's not scientific, say it's correct, but uh, we researched ACE Hospital. It's uh, a new hospital. It's been around a while, but it's considered a very good hospital. And at the time we did the research, there may be more now, there was 13 ACE hospitals in the Philippines. So one of the things on our list, and you guys know, we actually had a list of all the requirements for this lot, as well as the area, and it was an extensive list. And that discounted basically 99% uh, of the lots that we looked at, but we were real picky. And you know, one of the things we had on the list was not just to be uh, within 30 minutes, and that was our goal. We wanted to be within 30 minutes of a good hospital. We wanted to be 30 minutes to an ACE hospital. Now think about the 7,000 islands and there's only 13 uh, ACE hospitals. So that kind of narrowed our search down for sure. Uh, but that was one of the requirements. So we're actually here 35 minutes to ACE hospital. Uh, so that was one of the things that we wanted. We wanted to be close. Now, there's also Silliman Hospital, which I was told is very good. Yeah, pretty good too. Yeah, we heard a lot of, lot of uh, expats told us they used uh, Silliman and it was very good. But what I hear about ACE is it's uh, more expensive, but that means there's less people there. So everyone that I've spoken to, and it's probably six or seven people, 
that actually used Ace Hospital said that it was very, very good um, and it wasn't crowded at all. And uh, as compared to like US prices, extremely cheap. So at, at the current moment, Wilma and I do not have health insurance. We're two healthy people, uh, but of course we're getting older. So we will start thinking about having some type of an insurance plan in the future. But right now we're just self-insured. Uh, if uh, something happens, we're just gonna pay cash. Uh, so is that wise? I think it is at this point uh, because you know we're still young. Uh, I'm 55, Wilma's 21. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so Wilma's in her 40s. Uh, and I'm 55 and, you know, we don't take medicine and, you know, we're, we're healthy people. Now, of course, we could get in an accident or anything could happen. We understand that. Um, but we'll just self-insure until we feel like we need to have uh, health insurance. Uh, but I wanted to talk about that today because yet again, I'm getting so many emails. I got like three more yesterday on people that are getting very close, which means less than like 12 months moving to the Philippines, they want to buy a piece of property and build a house. So many of you, uh, call it the 10 percenters, uh, are really thinking about doing it here soon. And like I said, I just got like three more people who emailed me just in the last 24 hours. So you need to start thinking about that, wherever you're going to be. It's very nice to be out in the province and everyone says, I want to be away from foreigners and, you know, be out in the real Philippines. But if you're three, four, five, six hours or a boat ride to a hospital, it's probably not a good idea. Uh, and again, you know, do what you want to do, but it's something that we wanted to be within 30 minutes of a ACE hospital, and we were able to do that. Yeah, because uh, lately, uh, where I come from, um, our home was uh, two and a half hour away from a good private hospital from ACE. Yeah. And that kind of discounted that area. Yeah. There was an ACE in Leyte, but it was two and a half hours away. So it didn't hit our list. We were very, very uh, hard to have a list that had a lot of requirements on it because, you know, hopefully this is our last home. Uh, we don't want to do this again uh, for many reasons. And we didn't want to be two and a half hours away from a hospital. Just imagine having a heart attack and having to take a uh, ambulance ride or ride in my truck, Wilma takes me in my truck, two and a half hours just to get looked at. It's, it's just not, got, not good. So we feel uh, that 30 minute window uh, was wise. Um, and that's why, uh, you know, when we found this lot, we were very happy because that part of the list was checked off, just about the whole list was. So I uh, just wanted to cover that with you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get you guys uh, some today updates. So I wanted to show you guys uh, the clean room, and this is where uh, we did our intro today. We'll probably continue to do our intros there. Um, but we're glad that we uh, installed not just a window unit. We're glad that we uh, installed uh, the split. Listen, it's on. You can see it's set at 23 Celsius. You can barely hear it. I don't know if you can pick it. I can hear it, uh, but it's on high fan, and it really cools this room. Uh, so you could probably uh, cool this room with a 0.5 horsepower. That's a 1.5. We wanted 1.0, uh, but they were out of stock, so we just had to pay a little more for the 1.5. But real glad we did, because uh, it chills down this room uh, very quick. So I did some grouting today, so uh, winding down on the grouting, but did the seam right there, because there is a little gap between the, uh, the uh, PVC and the uh, actual tile. So now you can see it's it's real good. You can barely see it. It's all sealed. Uh, looks really good. So now that's sealed off. So we worked on that today. Brought up another table. Uh, so we did move the coffee table out of the way just so we have a little more room. Here's a few more items that we brought up. Uh, microwave and just some personal items. So uh, definitely uh, have a place now to go uh, to get out of the dust and uh, to get out of the heat and... Uh, you know, just to have a, a, a place to go. So they did do the sanding here today, created a ton of dust. So Wilma's been working on this, and the guys were sweeping too, helping out. Uh, but the floor is uh, still needs work because it was so dusty. 
uh, but they got it done, so now the next step is for them to, uh, to paint it. Uh, we brought up another load today, so we're gonna try uh, to keep up with bringing one load a day. So now you can see uh, a second microwave. Uh, actually, I brought that microwave from the US. That's a 110. Uh, that was a brand new microwave, and we're gonna have that in the uh, dirty kitchen where that uh, one 110 outlet is, so that's the reason for that. But uh, the first look at the ballot buy-in boxes, so we brought up three ballot buy-in boxes uh, that's full of stuff that we brought from the U.S. And I think we have about 20 more because we unpacked some. We, we shipped 35, but uh, a lot of them we unpacked and some of it had food in it and stuff like that that we've already used. So I, th I think we got about 20 left. So there's three of them that we brought up today. So just, just some more miscellaneous items, cleaning items, and just trying to have a place uh, to start uh, bringing some uh, stuff up. So I think tomorrow I'm going to tackle uh, getting this cover off and uh, vacuuming all that and getting that started. I think I'm going to work on that and then taking off the, uh, the uh, tape that's on the windows. And that, that was a little bit of a chore, actually. So other than that, that's really the main thing. Now we did uh, test the water today. So let me turn this on. So what we did today was um, we tested the heater. So we were messing with the uh, water tank today, uh, got it to 3010. So we feel uh, pretty confident with 30 PSA. It was uh, PSI, plenty of pressure. And then we went ahead and tested the heater, worked really good. So now we're, we're ready to go uh, to use this shower. So uh, we have that open. You can see we have an exhaust fan there. Uh, so the exhaust fan goes on when we turn on the lights. So that worked out good. So that's basically uh, the updates uh, for this uh, main living area. So I haven't done an update in the master uh, bedroom area in a while. You can see the remnants of Wilma uh, sweeping and mopping. It's still a little wet, but I'm gonna walk on it anyway. And you can still see the dust uh, because she worked on the main room uh, more today. Uh, but this has been swept a couple of times and mopped like twice, and it's still some remnants. And even the window uh, has uh, some dust on it. So uh, when you sand this, boy, does that create uh, a lot of dust. So they popped out the lights when they were doing the uh, skim coat, so they're just gonna pop them in. But what I wanted to show you is we did finally get the lights done. They've been in for a while, walk-in closet. So uh, I gotta check on uh, with the vendor where they're at with the uh, walk-in closet. Uh, still the vanity needs to be hooked up, uh, but they got the lights in in the master. So two here, and then here in the uh, shower, master shower. Got exhaust fan and three lights. Now the, that exhaust fan was supposed to be uh, there for that light to replace that light. Uh, two lights with an exhaust fan. But there was uh, the uh, contractor said, or actually the foreman who was putting that uh, light in said there was some kind of a beam in the way. And he already had the hole cut. Uh, so he suggested just put the exhaust fan a little forward and the fact that there was already a hole there, you would have to patch it and then uh, skim coat it and putty it and all they said it would be just easier just to pop the light back in. Uh, and then he did a jumper over. So uh, it's pretty bright here, um, but now we have three lights uh, and one exhaust fan here in the master, but that got done uh, today. So little progress in the uh, master bedroom. Quick pool step update. So they were able to complete the, the first step. Uh, started working on the uh, second step. And you can see uh, the same pattern is going to be where they have the bullnose on the edges. Uh, just like they'll have the bullnose here on the edges of the coping on both sides. So that's going to repeat. So a uh, quick step update. So they just had one guy on the steps today, but they had uh, three guys on the uh, coping. So look, they're almost all the way around. They just have this piece here and just a couple pieces over there uh, to go. So they're definitely making some uh, a quick go of it. So nice pattern. You can barely see the piece. Pieces right there. All get grouted, never see it. 
take a walk around looking good so let me hop up that'll be the look so definitely enough mosaic i mean there's a lot of blue tile in there and we wanted to break it up we didn't want to just be the whole pool uh, blue when wilma and i uh was picking tile and we said we really wanted you know to break it up so i think having you know the rectangle in the floor and then like a large rectangle on the side of the pool and then another rectangle you know for the coping it does break it up so we're glad we did uh, did that uh we were talking about having a third tile for the pool uh but we uh didn't want to do that we didn't want to have three different uh color tiles we were going to go with a totally different color for the uh coping glad we didn't do it we wanted it all to uh blend together the guys did use their tarp today because we got about i would say an hour rain shower midday uh looks like it's starting to clear up clouds are going this way so no sunset tonight um but uh we got pretty lucky today about one hour shower uh midday so the guys just put the tarp up over the step area and then over the area in which they were working the uh, coping and it kept them out of the, uh, out of the rain. So that's today's pool update.